Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Tutorial. We have gone through in our previous video how to do a teardown of the Shure E4C which can be found in the link up here and in the description. Now let us explore how we can give this OIEM a much needed refurbishment. For the MMCX detachable cable mod, we will need the following equipment. For tools, we will need the soldering equipment, a Dremel or a needle file, tweezers, epoxy putty, and needle and super glue. For parts, we will need a round MMCX female connector and enamel coated wires. Once the IEM has been disassembled, the first thing we will need to do is to desolder the wires from the ribbon cable and remove the old wire and rubber strain relief from the shell. Using a Dremel or needle file, grind down on the exit hole of the wire on the shell and enlarge it to be able to fit your female MMCX connector. Prepare the connector by applying a layer of solder onto the solder pads. Solder the red enable wires to the center pin, which is the signal, and the blue to the exterior, which is the ground. Mix the AB epoxy party in a 1 to 1 ratio and wrap the party around the female connector. Push the connector into the exit hole where we had just worked on earlier and make it sit flush to the body of the housing. Remove all the excess party with a pen knife. We will then solder the wires onto the ribbon cable where the red wire will replace the previous signal wire which is also the red wire and the blue wire to the ground.
glue the shower part back using a needle and super glue. Pour a small amount of super glue on a piece of unwanted plastic. Dip the needle into the droplet of glue and apply them along the edges of the shell. Close the shell, wipe off any excess glue and hold them together for a minute using your fingers or a clamp. Once the glue has set, proceed to reinstall the spacer ring, the silicone o-ring and finally the nozzle and screw on the metal housing. The mod is now done and we have to wait for about 2 hours before plugging in a cable as the epoxy resin has yet to harden. So that's the end of the video, we hope you have learned something today. Thank you for watching.